today we are going to start with a new topic that is the mole concept see before starting this topic i i want to con uh, convey you something that many of the students are just scared of this concept right so i want uh, i want that uh, there should be no such kind of fear in your mind so what i'm going to do i'm going to start with the basic thing involved in the mole concept so so that you learn things uh, so that you should learn things step by step and there should not be any fear in your mind right so just you have to cooperate with me if you have any questions or anything related to that you have to ask me accordingly right so the one thing the first thing what must be striking in your mind is that that actually what is mole concept right so you should know that mole concept is actually a counting unit for example if you uh, just go to market and ask your green grocer like if some if like i go to a market and i see a green grocer selling a, a, a bananas suppose see so what i ask him i ask him that i need a dozen bananas so what he do actually he give me uh, 12 bananas right because he knew he know that that the dozen means 12 right so that means dozen is a counting unit likewise if you go to some market and you ask for uh, you you say that i want this thing gross so that person gave you 144 items because he knew that that gross is a counting unit and uh, wherever you uh, you use gross it just simplifies that how many uh, uh, items you need you need 144 items so likewise the mole concept is also a counting unit or you can say mole is a counting unit so what do you mean by mole now so obviously mole is a counting unit like we have dozen we have gross and many more right so mole so now the question is that where this mole is used right see uh, you have you come across uh, atoms molecules ion in chemistry you know that right and they are so small that you cannot uh, you can say the you cannot find their accurate properties accurate mass accurate something matter you cannot uh, find the accurate properties of those atoms molecules and ions right so their mole help us actually that in case of uh, you can say the atom suppose i need to uh, find the mass of one atom obviously the mass of one atom is like it is very difficult to know the mass of one atom because the atom is too small in nature i cannot isolate it and i cannot know the mass of one atom right but we can know the mass of the collective uh, atoms or a collective molecules or collective ions so that collection of uh, entities that means uh, atom molecule and ion corresponds to mole right so if somebody ask you what is mole so you you have to answer in this way that mole is a counting unit and where it is used it is used in case of counting properties related to atoms molecules and ions that means whose uh, the properties cannot be determined accurately because they are so minute so we can do it by using the counting unit that is the mole right so Uh, how do you, how you're going to define that or what does this mole like i told you that doesn't means 12 right so that means there will be uh, some specific value which will be related to mole as well right so what is that specific value so mole actually corresponds to avgedro number so that means avgedro number gives us certain uh, certain collective number which signifies that it is a mole now what is that number it, it it's that is 6.022 into 10 raised to power 23 it is actually the collective 6.022 into 10 raised to power 23 whether atoms or molecules or ions if somebody ask you like if i say that uh, one mole of atom if i ask you one mole of atom what do you mean by it Uh, do you think i mean that i uh, that it is one atom no if i say one mole of atom so it means it contain how many atoms it contains 6.022 into 10 raised to power 23 atoms right and if i say likewise one mole of molecule then what does it mean it again doesn't mean that one molecule it means this much molecules 
because we know that mole contains this number right so when i say one mole of atom that means how many atoms this much atoms if i say one mole of molecules so how many molecules this much molecules if i say one molecule sorry one mole of ions so how many ions obviously this 6.022 into 10 to the 23 ions because mole means 6.022 into 10 to the 23 right or there is a scientific definition this is actually the uh, meaningful concept which i have told you but if somebody ask you for a technical definition of mole what you are going to answer so you you'll answer in this way that uh, mole is actually a number which contain the as much as particles particles can be atoms molecules or ions which are same as that present in the or you can say which are same as that of the atoms which are present in 12 grams of c12 that is the 12 Uh, sorry the isotope of carbon so again i am repeating if somebody ask you to define uh, the mole in a technical language you need to answer mole is that quantity which contains same number of entities entities means they can be atom can be molecule can be ions right so that means mole is a the, you can say a quantity which contains same number of entities which are uh, present in 12 grams of c12 isotope of carbon so this is how you have you will be writing the technical definition for a mole otherwise uh, in exams you hardly get a definition for mole you need to uh, what you get is the numericals based on the mole concept but still you need to be familiar with the definition as well so just write in your copy that what do you mean by mole mole is a term that signifies or you can say mole is a counting unit which contain the same number of entities as present in the 12 grams of c12 isotope of carbon right so now you know that what is actually a mole we know that it is a counting unit right like we use it we use for uh, different items dozen gross and like that we use this mole as a counting unit for atoms molecules and ions that means the particles which are very minute in size whose properties or mass or any other property cannot be uh, you can say uh, det determined accurately likewise mole how mole means what mole means collection of this much and this much can be atom this this much can be molecule or this much can be ion that depend that uh, what kind of mole you are given like if i ask you one mole of atom that means this much atoms if i give you one mole of molecule that means this much molecule one mole of ion this much ion so you have to keep clear in your mind that mole signifies the avogadro number that is the 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 right so this is actually a mole now the second property which you will be uh, you will encounter in the numerical is that the molar mass now what does this uh, term suggest if i say molar mass so what idea do you get in mind that what actually it is obviously it is a mass of one mole because molar means mole and mass you know the quantity of matter contained in the body right so if i say molar mass obviously it is a mass of one mole now as we know that uh, there is a specific mass for atom there is a specific mass for molecule then that then means what mass is going to be the mass of mole like what mass you will be taking as molar mass so see that uh, if you take atomic mass suppose i'm taking an example to make you understand suppose i have oxygen atom So oxygen atom we know we denoted with O. What is the atomic mass for oxygen? How many times it is heavier than one twelfth of carbon atom? This is what you call as atomic mass, right? So what is the atomic mass for for uh, oxygen? It is sixteen. So that means sixteen is a atomic mass of oxygen, right? So is this a mass of one oxygen atom? What do you think? that this 16 is a mass of one oxygen atom or it it is a mass of more than one atom so you should know that atomic mass actually corresponds to the mass of one mole of atom not of one atom right so that means if somebody ask me about the molar mass of oxygen obviously because we are taking example as of oxygen right so if somebody ask me about the molar mass of oxygen what i'm going to say i'm going to say that the molar mass of oxygen is equal to the atomic mass of oxygen as the atomic mass is not the mass of one atom actually it is the mass of one mole that means it is a mass of 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 atoms right so that means molar mass of oxygen is equal to the atomic mass of oxygen so that means 
molar mass of oxygen is equal to atomic mass we know is 16 so that means molar mass of oxygen is 16 right so how many atoms uh, you can say possess this 16 mass if i write the uh, write the unit along it becomes gram atomic mass right because we can take atomic mass in different units here i am taking it in, uh, in grams so it becomes gram atomic mass right so if somebody asks me that uh, molar mass of oxygen, the, okay, it's clear that it is equal to the atomic mass. That means it is 16 grams, right? So, is this a mass of one atom? So, you're going to say no, it is not a mass of one atom. Actually, it is a mass of 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 atoms. These atoms unite to form, or you can say unite to weigh as 16 grams. Right. So, similarly, the, I, uh, similarly, I will be taking an example for a molecule because when we talk about mole of the molecules, that also corresponds to the molecular mass. See, I am taking an example. Suppose earlier we consider atom, now I am considering a molecule of oxygen. So, molecule of oxygen is O2 and we know that the atomic mass of one oxygen is 16. So, for a molecule it is 32 grams. Right. So, that means this is a molecular mass of oxygen molecule right so if somebody asks me now molar mass of this o2 so molar mass is just going to be equal to the molecular or molecular formula mass so that means there is no separate mass for it molar mass is actually equal to the molecular mass so that means in this case molar mass of o2 is equal to the molecular mass or molecular formula mass whatever term you can use because both terms means the same whether I say molecular formula mass or I say molecular mass that means the same thing. So that means it is equal to 32 grams again my question the same question I am going to ask you that like like in this case I told you that is I asked you that is 16 gram is a mass of one atom. So, you know that it is not a mass of one atom, it is actually a mass of 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 atoms, that is it is a mass of one mole. Likewise, I am asking you question, same question here, that is this 32 gram is a mass of one molecule of O2? So, no, it is not a mass of one molecule of O2, actually it is a mass of one mole of molecules of O2, that means how many? 6.022 into 10 raise to the power 23, so that means this much molecules actually weigh 32 grams so this is what is the molar mass i think it's clear so you have to keep in mind one thing is that that at what do you mean by atomic mass obviously it is a mass of an atom one atom right and if i say molecular mass so it is a mass of a molecule that these terms are already clear in your mind because you have studied this concept in ninth as well now if somebody asks you that what is the molar mass, so you should know the molar mass is actually the mass of one mole. When I say atom, so one mole of atom. When I say molecule, so one mole of molecule. Now, what uh, you can say, what to what number this molecular ma molar mass of O atom or molar mass of O2 is equal to? It is equal to the atomic mass or it is equal to the molecular mass. If expressed in grams, we can just convert the term into gram atomic mass and gram molecular mass. Likewise, the, the, you will get the question, you, you need to write the same unit, right? So, that is why at this moment, sometimes I am using the word gram atomic mass or gram molecular mass and at some moment, I am just saying the atomic or the molecular mass because they can be in different units right so this is what is the molar mass i think you are clear with the mole what is it you are clear with the avogadro number you are clear with the molar mass right now the third thing is that what is molar volume right so as the name suggests again it is the volume occupied by one mole obviously right and uh, so molar volume is actually the volume occupied by the one mole now if uh, uh, now what is going to be like as the mole mole signifies uh, you can say a proper number right it is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 whether we talk for oxygen whether we talk for nitrogen whether we talk for some any other element it is going to remain same likewise the molar mass is just going to remain same it will depend upon the atomic mass of the atom or it will depend upon the molecular mass of the molecule now what about molar volume so is it going to be same 
so you should know that it is again going to be same and from where we got this idea actually the volunteer Avgedro just proved it Avgedro just made some conclusion in his law that is the Avgedro law that will be taking up uh, later but at this moment I'll just explain the law in a short span so that you should have some idea related to this molar volume right so Avgedro was the scientist he's just formulated his law Avgedro law on the basis of certain experiments and what he concluded you know he say he said actually equal volume of gases contain equal number of molecules at same condition of temperature and pressure i repeat equal volume of gases that means if the gases if the two or more gases have same volume right they will contain equal number of molecules so that means if the volume is going to be same whether they are nitrogen or oxygen or any other gas irrespective of the nature the, if the volume of those gases are same so obviously they are going to contain the equal number of molecules and this whole happens when it happens it happens when the condition of temperature and pressure is constant that means you you need to have constant temperature and constant pressure so what does Avgedro actually concluded in a you can say in an explanatory way I'm going to tell you he said that if the constant if there is constant temperature and constant pressure then the irrespective of the nature whether you have n2 gas whether you have o2 gas whether you have helium gas any other gas any gas we are not concerned with the nature so at constant temperature and pressure equal volume of gases what matter now that what the thing the property that matter is the equal volume right the volume should be equal and the temperature and pressure condition should be same so if temperature and pressure conditions are same and the, uh, the gases are, have equal volume so definitely they are going to contain equal number of molecules that is the uh, 6.22 into 10 power 23 or whatever it just corresponds to the mole so it was concluded that stp at stp condition what is STP? ST, STP is standard condition of temperature and pressure that you, uh, you can say that you feel uh, at room temperature, right? So this is actually the standard condition of temperature and pressure. So what is a, like at STP condition, what is the temperature? It is 273 Kelvin and what is the pressure? it is one atmospheric pressure so this condition you are feeling now also because these are the normal conditions which exist in the atmosphere right so that means at stp condition equal uh, volume of gas that means the suppose again i'm explaining suppose we have one mole of gas so, right i'm taking an example i have one mole of gas so how many molecules it will contain you know that how many molecules it is going to contain because mole signif signifies this number. So that means it will contain how many molecules? It will contain this much molecules. So what is the molar volume? Molar volume says that one mole of gas which contain this much of molecules at STP condition occupy a fixed volume and that volume is actually 22.4 liters. So this is actually what is the molar volume right so molar volume is actually the volume occupied by one mole and who is the volunteer who just gave the concept or from which from where we got an idea we got an idea from the uh, the you can say the law formulated by the Avgedro uh, this thing Avgedro law and uh, we just concluded after studying that that one mole of gas as it, we know contain fixed number of molecules so that means that STP it is going to have fixed volume and that volume is something called as the molar volume and what is the value for that it is 22.4 liter so these are the three terms actually we are going to use in the uh, numericals based on the mole concept so now we are in a position to start with the uh, you can say the numerical based questions of the mole concept right